Alright, so I thought I would try something a little bit different from the usual videos that I put out and take you guys on this uh, little nature walk on a trail that I found not too long ago. It's a little bit inconvenient because it ha it's, by, um, it's by a highway and also a waste center, so sometimes the smell is not that great during the warmer weather, but overall it's pretty nice. So if there are sounds of vehicles in the background, there's unfortunately not much I can do about that just because of the location of where I am. But what I wanted to do is just kind of talk about some random stuff that's been floating around in my head. And it's been enough time now, I think, where I talked a little bit about it on Twitter around when it happened, but I never got around to making a video regarding the topic. And it's related to the uh, suicide of Chester Bennington, and, it, and not him exactly, but just the way that the way that people act in these situations when it's these celebrities that end up killing themselves, where all of a sudden everyone on social media turns into this pseudo mental health activist and it's something that it really bothers me because throughout the course of my life I've struggled to find people that I can actually talk to about my own problems that will just listen and you know, maybe not even necessarily give advice, but just but just not use those issues against me as ammunition at some point in the future. And that's why it's always been really hard for me to find people that I can open up to and, and trust with deeper feelings, because it, it feels like people just end up using it against you when they get mad at you or when they want to make themselves feel superior in some way. So I've kind of learned just to, for the most part, keep things like that to myself. Uh, I'm getting near a loud spot on the highway, so apologies. Hopefully it's not taking over too much because I'm going to do like probably minimal to no edits on these videos. So as I was saying, when one of these celebrities dies in a way where they have taken their own life, everybody suddenly comes out and acts like they care about mental health issues and that they've always cared about mental health issues when in reality it just turns out to be these people that usually only discuss the whole positive vibes and they just posture about how great their life is and how you should be enjoying your life and all that. And that's all well and good if that's the kind of message you want to spread. But don't turn around and then act as though you care about people that you usually label as just being negative and, you know, dragging you down from the positivity quest that is your life. I understand wanting to be happy and I understand not wanting to let the sad emotions of others overcome you and take over your life. That's, you know, that's perfectly understandable because I don't wish those kind of feelings on anybody having experienced them firsthand. But when you pretend to be something that you're not and act as though you really care about these issues when in reality what you're doing is trying to show the world and social media just how caring of a person you are without doing any of the legwork to prove that. That's where I take an issue. Now I understand that some people may not be aware of the importance of mental health issues and then when you know one of their favorite celebrities dies they come around to it and realize, wow, this is, you know, maybe this is a problem that needs to be looked into more deeply. I get that. I also get that you can appreciate someone's work to the point that when they pass in this manner, it's kind of devastating because you related to 
the art that they created. So those are understandable things. But what I can't stand is when someone takes somebody else's tragedy and makes it about themselves, makes it about them appearing to be a virtuous person. And, you know, that's basically the definition of virtue signaling. And I think it's a major problem on social media where people just, rather than actually doing good, they want to give you the appearance that they are good and in turn get attention and likes and followers, you know, the real important things in life. So the major issue here is that when you use these tragedies to promote yourself, it takes away from the actual issue at hand and turns it into a trend for a couple of days, maybe a week, where you you know, you retweet some some suicide hotlines and you like some posts about raising the awareness for the stigma of mental health. And then, you know, after that short period of time passes, you go right back to does and ignore anything that doesn't fit your oh-so-perfect, positive, happy worldview. And to me, that is... It's just beyond disingenuous and it's beyond aggravating because they don't understand that these, are, these aren't struggles that you just deal with for a couple of days and then you can turn it off. It's a real problem that people face day to day and they can't just turn those emotions off. They struggle to feel happiness. They struggle to feel connected to somebody. And instead of you doing something that actually matters, you decide to turn it into this way to to just look like you're a great person and I feel as though I feel as though that has become the focus instead of actually trying to help people. So what I think is if you actually care about mental health issues, if you actually care about the way people are feeling, the best things you can do well, first of all, don't, don't turn it into a trend to make yourself look like a good person. But second, I really don't feel like the, the whole let's repost suicide hotlines thing helps. Because I will, I will share some personal information and say that in some rather dark times, there were two instances where I called these hotlines. And it, it wasn't necessarily because I was going to harm myself. It was just kind of a desperation where I just felt, you know, very alone. Like I had nobody that I could talk to about this stuff. And both times I was left on hold. I, I never got to speak to anybody. I was just on hold. I think these hotlines are over flooded. And, you know, that's just my experience. Maybe some people actually do get help out of them. And I wouldn't discourage you from giving it a try. But if you're just somebody that goes and reposts these things and thinks that's a way to call it good, that you've done your part, you haven't. You haven't done anything. All you've done is create an image for yourself, turn somebody's tragedy into your brand of positivity. And that's messed up. Quite frankly, it's just messed up. So what I really think that you should do, getting to the point, if you care about mental health issues and people that struggle with them, I just think that in your personal life, you should be actively trying to care for people and check in on people. So, you know, if you have friends or family, you know they're going through a rough time, just reach out to them. Just ask them how they're doing. Just listen to their problems. If you really care, just talk to them and listen and, you know, offer that ear. Tell them that you understand. Even if you don't necessarily understand, at least tell them that you're available if they need somebody to message or somebody to talk to. Because just knowing that you have that person that is there for you when you're in a time of hardship can really be make or break. Now, some of us, you know, end up processing these feelings on our own. Some of us don't take advice very well, and we just need to kind of 
do whatever it is we need to do in our own time, and that's all well and good. But there are people that feel loneliness and isolated, and they kind of just need somebody that is willing to hear them out. And I think that's really important, and I think if you care about... If you care in the way that you say you care, and you really want to do something to remove the so-called stigma, that's something that you can do to do your part to show that you actually care, to maybe possibly help somebody in a way that a social media post can never really do because it's it's just so impersonal. So that's really it's really what I wanted to talk about as far as that goes. I'm tired of people just trying to look like good people. We need less less appearances, less image and more action when you say that you care about something just show that you care about something instead of instead of pretending for the sake of attention and i'm sure you know some people will probably listen to this and be like well how do you know they're doing it for attention and and like i said i know i know it's not everybody i know there are some people that are sincere that i personally know that repost these things and actually talk about these things because they struggle with them so this is not meant as a dig towards them because I know that they are genuine in the sense that they deal with it themselves and they're just trying to help other people any way they can. But that's all for now. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.